Do you remember that crazy scam called the Fire Festival? It was a fake music festival made up by fraudsters. It ended up costing victims $26 million. They got nothing in return. Well, how would you feel if I told you that something that feels really similar just happened in Canada, but that this time it involves $60 million of your money and Justin Trudeau's Liberal government? This is the story of the Arrive Can app scam, and you're going to want to share this explainer video. The story of Arrive Scam starts three years ago when Justin Trudeau's Liberals wanted to develop an app for travelers who were entering the country during the pandemic. They wanted an app to make it easier for the Liberal government to collect personal health information and to enforce their COVID travel restrictions, like mandatory quarantines. Justin Trudeau's Liberals said that this app called ArriveCan would only cost about $80,000 to develop. And they said that it would keep Canada safe, but that's not what happened. In fact, as soon as it was launched, the ArriveCan app started making mistakes. It put over 10,000 innocent people into 14-day quarantines. And what about all that highly sensitive personal data that Justin Trudeau's government was collecting on ArriveCan? Well, it turns out that they breached Canada's privacy laws. The ArriveCan app was also so hard to use that it caused absolute chaos at Canada's borders. It stranded countless passengers at Canada's airports. Many of you remember this, but that's not the worst of it. The Liberals said it would cost $80,000, but ArriveCan cost more than that. Way more. Way, way more. An official investigation just uncovered that the Trudeau Liberals spent a whopping $60 million, your tax dollars, on ArriveCan. If you think that sounds sketchy, you're right. How did Justin Trudeau's Liberals spend $60 million on an app that didn't really work? It caused travel chaos, forced thousands of people into quarantine, and violated privacy. That's a good question. It's one that even the auditors investigating the spending on the app can't figure out. The waste was so bad that the Auditor General of Canada, the top boss on looking at taxpayer spending, just described Justin Trudeau's Liberal government's sketchy waste of $60 million on the app like this. Rules thrown out the window, basic record keeping disregarded, due diligence missing. It turns out that Justin Trudeau's government spending on the app was so sus that even Canada's top auditor said she couldn't figure out how much had actually been spent on the app, but that it was at least $60 million. And things get even shadier. Those investigators found out something worse, if you can believe it. Most of the money went to companies that didn't even do any work on the app. In fact, a company that only has two people working for it, called GC Strategies, got an estimated $20 million from Justin Trudeau's Liberal government to work on ArriveCan. So what exactly did this company use that $20 million for? No one really knows much, except that the company did virtually no work on the app in return for all that bank. But we do know one thing about what GC Strategies did. They invited Justin Trudeau's government officials to things like whiskey tastings and other luxurious sounding stuff while they were getting $20 million for not doing much or any real work. And it doesn't stop there. Like any good scandal, there may be a cover up. Justin Trudeau's Liberals and their coalition NDP partners have worked to stop parliamentary efforts to make sure that someone gets punished. There's suggestions that officials in Justin Trudeau's Liberal government may have deleted emails about ArriveCan and all of this sketchy stuff. In fact, the RCMP is looking into this now too. Justin Trudeau's Liberals hope you won't care about this issue and that you'll ignore it, but you shouldn't. That's because while you were suffering through the pandemic, Justin Trudeau's Liberals were shoveling millions of your tax dollars out the door for shady sounding things, and now they're trying to cover it up. You're paying for Justin Trudeau's liberal waste now with higher mortgage payments, higher rent, higher taxes, higher grocery prices. So while you can't afford to make ends meet, Justin Trudeau's liberal government were happy to let two person companies like GC Strategies get rich for not doing much work. You're paying taxes to pay for Justin Trudeau's decisions like this, and that's wrong. No one has faced any punishment for ArriveCan at a minimum. 
someone or several someones need to be fired and Justin Trudeau needs to be fired. Share this video if you agree and help me get the, the word out.